What if they like you? What if your dreams come true? Are you willing to do whatever it takes? Will you reap the rewards? How far are you willing to go? Can you handle the pressure? When someone is always watching? I am in shock. I'm happy, confused, feel a lot of emotions right now. If you're about to leave the show in any way, I'd rather be that way where it is a twist and it's crazy like that. Um, to be honest with you, it's like almost like ripping off the bland bandaid. It's, I'd rather go out, if I was to go out, I'd rather go out that way because I, instead of standing on the nomination block for so long after a week, then doing the campaigning, hoping to win the power veto, all that, it's, it's exhausting. I've seen people go through it. I've been there. It's not fun. So if I was to go, it's the best way to go, I think. That's a really good question. Um, after my HOH, I really expected um, Kayla, Dougie, and uh, Spicy V to really have my back. And the fact that I would walk in on some of the conversations that would have uh, without me, that was really concerning to me. Um, although I did feel okay one-on-one -on -one with a lot of the guys, um, I felt like they had my back. And then when Elijah won, I knew that I was going to be okay because I had a close bond with Elijah. Um, so I decided to sit back and really process what I just been through the previous three weeks, being on slop, uh, the HOH, being on the block. Um, so I kind of took a step back for a second just to breathe. And then uh, little did I know that I'd be going up. That's a really good question. Um, I know even though Todd used the veto on me to be replaced, um, I'm not most upset by him because I expect that from him and uh, also Bailey. But the one that I was surprised by the most is Spicy V. That was really shocking to me. Um, I thought I was really close to Spicy V. We had the square up alliance. Um, and the nice things that she's told me about, the fact that she didn't have to use that veto and still decided to use it, especially on Todd knowing full well that he's going to put me as replacement nominee shows me that she really did not have my back. Like I said in my speech, Dennis was probably the closest person to me and this was a really difficult decision. I love him with all my heart, but I had to think what's best for my game. Anthony and Spicy V are running this house and I need numbers in Big Brother to actually win. I need to go far in the game even. And just me and Dennis together, we weren't going to go anywhere. We needed numbers. Um, the way the girls, he was rubbing the girls the wrong way, even the guys, he was rubbing the wrong way. I could not go farther in the game with Dennis as much as I wanted to. So when the opportunity arose, when so Spicy, Kayla, and Dougie offered the alliance, I saw numbers in that. And then when they pitched out Dennis, I immediately denied it. But when they kept pitching him and saying that the, it's rubbing the whole house the wrong way, and if I did not win HOH, I would have been on the block next to him. And if I don't get him out now, next week I'll be on the block against him. So for my own safety and also to gain the numbers in the house, even if I knew back in my mind they might be manipulating me, I needed to make that move to show that, hey, I can be controlled and I can be trustworthy. But the biggest sacrifice was Dennis. So, again, it broke my heart, but I think that was the right move. Yes. Even though I felt that there were a lot of years in uh, coming into my HOH and telling me what to do, looking at the long-term picture, I believe that was the right move because we both wouldn't have made it very far. But I had to show my side. I had to make the alliance with them and show them that, hey, I am willing to work with you. So I don't go on the block the week after, but obviously they, they didn't trust that and still put me up and then sent me home. So spicy V and that alliance is, they really did ruin my game and backstab me. It's ironic because 
I feel like I just I got what I deserve. I did it to Dennis, and I got same thing. So I'm not upset by it. Um, but it sucks that we're both out. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's uh, yeah, absolutely. Like going into the game, you really don't realize how stressful it is. Um, you see things on TV. It's like, wow, they're going through slop and you forget about it. Or wow, they're on the nomination block. They forget about it. We go through it day in, day out. We wake up with the, with the emotions, with the stress of the game and we go to sleep with the same. Um, it is so much harder than it looks. Um, all you have are the people around you in that game. And what are the information you're getting? That's all you have to rely on. Way harder than it looks. Best part about being on the season was definitely, number one, making my dream come true of actually being on the show. But number two, getting to actually know each and every single one of those house guests. I know that they're all in there playing a game. We've all somehow lied or talked shit about each other. But at the end of the day, we all generally still do love each other. And I'm glad I used my HOH to really get to know everybody, their backstory, their childhood, how they were raised, where they're from, and just realize that at the end of the day, we're all human beings.